Hi guys, good day. It's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today class, it's all about the ellipse. Transforming general form to standard form. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So this is actually part 3 of our video class. This is actually requested from one of our subscribers and one of our followers to answer this kind of equation. The part 1 of our video class, we answer this equation. So x squared plus 4y squared plus 2x plus 8y plus 1 equals 0. So feel free to see the link in the description down below on how to answer this equation. And this one is our the part 2 of our video class. Feel free to see the link in the description down below on how to answer this one. Now, this is actually requested class because the difference of these two equations, this equation class, we have two quadratic terms. Once again, we call it quadratic term. If you have a variable with exponent of 2, we can call this one quadratic term. And if you have expo a number together with exponent, uh, so together with a variable with exponent of 1, so if you have a number together with a variable with the exponent of 1, we call it linear term. So the first part of our video, the part 1 of our video, we have two quadratic terms and then two linear terms. So once again, we call it quadratic term with the exponent is 2 of the variable. We call it linear term with the exponent of the variable is just 1. Two quadratic terms, two linear terms. Same with the part of our video, two quadratic terms and then two linear terms. Now the part 3 of our video class will be quite tricky since we have two quadratic term and then only one linear term. And what will be the thing that we will do if you have given example like this? Alright, so let's explain that today. So let's start. Alright, so first thing to do class is we need to copy 36x squared. So copy 36x squared. Then copy plus 5y squared minus 90y. Alright, and you put a space class because we will do completing the square. Okay, you put a space, this one, because we will be adding a new constant. Now, check class for the x, x squared. We didn't put a space because we cannot do the completing the square for this 36x squared because we don't have the linear term for x. A number together with a variable x with exponent of 1. So, therefore, we cannot do the completing the square in this equation. So, we just simply copy 36x squared. Now, for y class, we can do the completing the square because we have the quadratic term, a number together with a variable with exponent of 2, and we have the linear term for y, y raised to the power of 1. So, if we have the quadratic term for y and the linear term for y, we can do the completing the square. Alright, so put a space because we need to add a new constant. You transpose this negative 495 from left to right. Okay, so this is negative, it will be positive 495. So, we transpose this one. So this is negative, it will be positive. So copy 36x squared. And then you check class. Before doing the completing the square, can we factor the numbers for the y variables? Can we factor the number class? 5 and 90. Yep, we can factor this out by 5 and 90. So once again, before doing the completing the square, you check first the numbers if you can factor it out. Now since we can factor this 5 and 90 by 5, can we divide 5 by 5? Yep, we can divide 5 by 5. Can we divide 90 by 5? Yep, we can divide 90 by 5. So we can factor the number. So divide plus 5y squared divided by 5. Alright, oh, sorry, 5y squared divided by 5. So 5y squared divided by 5. So this will be 5 divided by 5 is 1. y squared divided by 9. None, just simply copy y squared. Or you can actually 1y squared, it means y squared. That's the same class. 5y squared divided by 5 is just the same with 1y squared or y squared. Alright, so 5y squared divided by 5, 5 divided by 5 is 1. y squared divided by none, just simply copy y squared. 1y squared or y squared. And then you divide negative 90y, negative 90y divided by 5. Negative 90y divided by 5. Negative 90 divided by 5. So, negative 90 divided by 5. So, 90 divided by 5 is 1. 1 times 5 is 5. Subtract 90. Uh, sorry, 9 minus 5 is 4. Bring down 0. 40 divided by 5 is 18. Uh, sorry, 8. 8 times 5 is 40. Subtract 40 minus 40 is 0. Therefore, negative 90 divided by 5, that's negative 18. y divided by none, just simply copy y. So negative 18y. 
Alright. And then you put a space, then equals 495. Even if we check this one class by distributive property, let's check if we can get this one. 5 times y squared, that's 5y squared. 5 times negative 18y, that's negative 90y. So therefore, this is the factor of this equation. Alright, so next, we do the completing the square. So this will be, okay, do the completing the square, the formula that we, that would be db over 2 quantity squared. This is the formula class in completing the square. To get the number that we will be adding in this equation, the formula in completing the square, that would be b divided by 2 quantity squared. So our b class is beside y. So our b is beside the linear term. This linear term beside y. So our b is negative 18 divided by 2 quantity squared. So negative 18 divided by 2, that's negative 9 squared. So negative 9 squared plus, it means negative 9 times negative 9. You multiply negative 9 by itself twice. Negative 9 times negative 9, that's positive 81. Alright, so this will, be, this will be positive 81. All right, now next step plus, be careful with this one because once you add a new equation on the left side of this equal sign, you also do that on the right side. Once again, always remember this one. When you add an equation on the left side of this equal sign, this is the equal sign, and this will be left, this will be right. Once you add a new equation from the left side, you also add it on the right side. But, okay, we will not be adding 81 on the right side since we factor this equation out. We factor this equation by 5. Okay, we factor it out by 5. So therefore, we need to get the product of 5 and 81 and what would be the product? That would be the number that we will be adding on the right side. Okay, so this will be plus 5 times 81. Okay, let me clarify this thing. If we don't have, if we didn't factor the number, just in case this is just the equation, we didn't factor out the equation. Okay, this is the equation. When you get the 81, you can just simply add 81. But since we factored it out by 5, because this is not the original equation class. The original equation is 5y squared minus 90y. I hope it's clear for you. So that's why you need to see the part 1 of our video because we have example that we didn't factor the equation and we just add it simply. But since we factor this out, so therefore we need to get the product of 5 and 81 and their answer that would be the thing that we will be adding on the right side. Alright, so copy 36x squared plus copy 5. Then this is a perfect square trinomial. Once again, when you do the completing the square, your answer is a perfect square trinomial. You make it into square of binomial class. So put parenthesis, you get the square root of the first term, is square root of y squared, that is y. And then you get the square root of the last term, square root of 81, that is 9. And then you copy the sign of the middle term, minus sign, then you put quantity, or close parenthesis, then squared. That's it. Okay, once again, you copy 5, you make this perfect square trinomial into square of binomial. You get the square root of the first term, square root of y squared, that is y. Is square root of the last term, square root of 81, that is 9. You copy the sign of the middle term, this is negative, you copy negative sign. You put quantity, then squared. That's it. Then equals, you add this one plus. Okay, you get the product first. Four nine, copy 495. Then 5 times 81. 81 times 5. This will be 5 times 1 is 5. 5 times 8 is 40. 405. So plus 405. Alright. So this will be 36x squared plus 5 quantity y minus 9 squared equals, you add this one plus, 495 plus 405. 405. So this will be 5 plus 5 is 10, 0 carry 1. 9 plus 1 is 10, 0 carry 1. 4 plus 4 is 8 plus 1 is 9. 4 plus 1 is 5 plus 4 is 9. 900. So this is 900. Alright, so this is 900. 900, we're almost done. So once again, class, the standard form of an ellipse, this is the standard form. Quantity x minus h squared over a squared plus quantity y minus k squared over b squared 
Once again, your A is the major axis. You can have this A on the inline with the Y, okay, Y axis, or you can have this A in line with the X squared. So, always remember, class, that the equation of the ellipse, equation on the left side will be equals to 1. Okay, so this equation should be equals to 1. All right, the equation should be equals to 1. So this is the standard form, class. So we will make this equation into standard form. And always remember, class, on the right side, it should be equals to 1. Now, since this is 900, so what will be the thing that we will do, class, so that 900 will be equals to 1? Of course, we need to divide this 1 by 900. We need to divide this 1 class by 900. 900 divided by 900, that's equals to 1. Okay? Now, once you divide 900 on the right side, you also do that on the left side class to make the equation balance. So you divide this 1 by 900, and you divide this 1 by 900. Alright? So, 36 divided by 900, that's cannot be. Of course, 36 divided by 900, you will get a decimal. So the thing that we will do is we need to reduce. So 36 and 900. What would be the greatest common factor class of 36 and 900? The GCF. Let's check. Can we divide 900 by 36? So 900 divided by 36. So 36 times 2 is 72. So therefore 36 times 2. So 2 times 36, that would be 72. 90 divided by 36 is 2. 2 times 36 is 72. Subtract. So 90 minus 72, you borrow 1, this becomes 8, this becomes 10. 10 minus 2 is 8. 8 minus 7 is 1. Then bring down 0. Then 36, 180 divided by 36. I think 5, right? Let's check. 36 times 5. 36 times 5. Let's, let's check if we get 180. 5 times 6 is 30. 0 carry 3. 5 times 3 is 15, plus 3 is 18. 180. Alright, so this will be 5, then 5 times 36, that's 180. So therefore, 36 and, 9, 36 and 900, we can reduce this one by 36. So, 36 divided by 36, that's equals to 1. 900 divided by 36, that would be equals to 5. Oh, sorry, 900 divided by 36, this is, 900 divided by 36, this is 25 plus, sorry, 25. Okay, 900 divided by 36, that's 25. This will be 25 plus. Alright, and then, this one, okay, 5 and 900. So, let's divide 5 and 900. 900 divided by 5. So this will be 1, 1 times 5 is 5, subtract 9 minus 5 is 4, bring down 0, 40 divided by 5 is 8, 8 times 5 is 40, subtract 0, bring down 0, 0 divided by 5 is 0, 0 times 5 is 0, then 0, 180 plus. Alright, so 900 divided by 5, that's 180. So therefore, 5, this is 5 over 900. So therefore, we can divide this 1 by 5 to make this 1 here. So 5 divided by 5 is 1. 900 divided by 5, that's 180. Alright, so cancel this out. You can cancel this out. This will be 1 and this will be 180. Of course, 900 divided by 100, this is 1. So the final equation class. So let me write the final equation. So the final answer for this one class. This will be x squared over 25 plus y. Okay, do not copy one class. Understood that there's one here. So we have one on the x squared. So understood that there's one here. 1 minus 9 squared over, this is already 180, equals 900 divided by 900 is 1. That's it plus. This will be our equation. Alright, so that's it. That will be the equation. That This is the standard form of this given equation. Now, if the teacher will ask you to find the vertex, okay, we'll find the vertex, vertex, that would be H and K. So, for your H class, once again, from this equation, X minus H square, okay, X minus 
quantity x minus h square over a square plus quantity y minus k square over b square equals 1. So you can have this equation or this equation. So therefore, our a here is on the y-axis because 180 is greater than 25. So our h plus, since we don't have, okay, for x squared plus, if we don't have any number, okay, for x squared, same with this one. So therefore, our h is equals to 0. That's automatic plus. If you don't have the linear term for x, that's automatic that your h will be equal to 0. So your h is equal to 0. So once again, plus, if you just have 36x squared, and you don't have the linear term, example 5x, 3x, this is the linear term, these are linear terms. If you don't have linear terms, you only have one quadratic term, automatic class, your h is equal to 0. Okay, if you don't have linear terms, your h is equal to 0. That's automatic. And your k, this is negative 9, because k class is beside y. So if this is negative 9, you get the additive inverse. So the additive inverse of negative 9, that would be positive 9. So this is positive 9. Alright, so once again, your h is 0 because you don't have the linear term for x squared. So that's why we have 0 for h. 0 for h and your k, you, this is negative 9, you get the additive inverse. Your k is positive 9. So that's it plus, that's the vertex. All set plus for part 3 of our video. If you have some questions class, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below because we will be answering that one. I hope you learned something new today. If you learned something new today, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. You share it to your friends, class, and to your classmates so that we can help more students. Once again, this is Teacher MJ. Bye-bye!